What's up, everybody? We're going to start off my first video on the Coachella Girls. That's what I call it. So my idea for this portrait was that I had to present an art project to my class. And I thought, what better way for my class to relate to me and to relate to them, whatever, is if I made a portrait or whatever about Coachella Girls. So, obviously, I am not a girl, and I do not dress like one, so I I didn't know how to make them, like, come across as real. So, what I did was I just go on the Pinterest app and just type away Coachella outfits and literally get, like, a million different um, picks to choose from. So, I just... And just started coming up with ideas. Inking. The outline and the rough drawings I did of the five girls. So right now I'm using Copic Multiliners. I find them to be a lot better than the Pigma Microns. I think that's what they're called. Well, because these you can refill them and I and you can just go through a lot with them. I haven't gone to the point where I needed to refill them, and I had these for years already. So maybe because I don't draw that much, but right now I'm just inking over them and still deciding what kind of color I want to paint them in and I have still have no idea. So right now I'm making s some stockings, I think that's what they're called. Whatever, it's kind of sexual in nature and yeah. At first I didn't really know what I really wanted to them. I just started planning out right in the middle of the work. No, obviously that's not the best idea, but I find it to be the best for me. So right now I'm making jean shorts, calling that in, and then I'm making uh, like a rose um, skin color tank uh, uh, bralette thing. I guess that's what you girls... So right now I'm just going back and forth between the girls and just... I find it just boring working on one area at a time I, I get irritable so I just work around the image and so, sort of start with some di something different now I'm working on the skin tones I'm using uh, warm grays of Copic markers I don't really like using skin colors because there's like a million different types of earth tones you could use and I just find uh, using um, warm grays just the easy for me to get the right skin tone I've tried with uh, regular skin colors and it just doesn't come out right for me I just that would take like a couple of years of practice to make it look right and for right now I find the warm warm copic grays to come out looking the nicest compared to regular colors okay now right now I'm going to start working on watercolor I am transitioning between marker for coloring the clothes and watercolor i just want to get different kinds of effects i don't want them to look absolutely the same and everything is kind of floral color or tie-dye that's one what i wanted to come across as and as i said before i have no idea what kind of colors i'm just going with it i have no idea the kind my plan right now i'm just adding different colors so this is the hardest one the girl in the center I wanted to do like kind of like a see-through uh, night dress with like a black bodysuit and I had a practice before I started that because I didn't want to come out looking wrong so I, I started and decided I wanted to use a solid color for the bodysuit and then using a very very watered down black watercolor to make the nightgown come out and look more realistic. And, of course, I have accidentally stopped recording the end of the video, and you do not see me do the background, so I'm just going to tell you what I did. I just did, like, a tie-dye transitioning between three different colors of, like, lighter to dark. On the bottom, I did, like, blue on the top, red in the center, and then green at the bottom, kind of, like... Uh, blue sky and then green for the grass a little bit to come across and red as in like just I don't know something crazy looking so I hope you guys like my first video and like and subscribe and what is good thank you